thing I'm going to be doing was uh, recorded by Albert King in the late 60s. It was written by Booker T, if you remember Booker T and the yeah. MGs. Uh, they were the house band for uh, Empire Records, and they were looking for a crossover song that would kind of appeal to the rock music people and the blues group. And they came up with this particular song, it was called Bad Sign, and it's got one of the best lines in all of music. Living the good life is 
driving me mad You know it seems like I just never lose Life's too good to be Singing the blues Shotgun blew up, ran him blind, uh, played blues, and because he was a blues musician, and blues musicians in those days were not very well thought of when they played in the poorer parts of town and it was dangerous, Lion Joe Reynolds took to carrying a pistol. And uh, he would tend to, as walking back to his hotel, if he heard noise that was threatening, he would pull the pistol out of his pants and swing it, point in the direction, and say, I got a gun, I'm blind, you better run. <laughs> and apparently it worked because he was never looked. Uh, this was written by a guy named Scrapper John. Scrapper John got his name from his grandmother. And he got it when he was a kid because, as the name would imply, Scrapper John just liked to fight. <laughs> called Blues Before Sunrise. Mm -hmm. 
I got the blues before sunrise Tears standing in my eyes I got the blues before sunrise Tears standing in my eyes It's a lonesome feeling One I do despise It seems like everybody Everybody's down on me You know that everybody Everybody's down on me I'll take those props Down to the deep blue sea And I'll walk away Concerned and he, he calls his son. He says, Jesus, come over here for a second. Jesus walks in and says, Yeah, Jack, what's up? He says, Things are really bad on earth. They're just they're just going bad to worse. I need your help. And Jesus said, Well, of course, whatever you need, I'm I'm your man. He says, Well, the, the thing is, I need you to go down to earth and save the people. But in order to do that, you gotta die. And as near as I can figure out, there's only two ways you can die that are going to work. One of them is you can be crucified on the cross. The other is you could be stoned to death by killer bees. And he says, I've looked at it every way, and they both work. And so I'm going to leave the choice to you. Which is why today many Christians do this instead of this. <laughs> Her mom's my pastor. <laughs> I'm a brave or foolish man, one or the other. Okay, this is uh, this song was actually written by a guy named Charles Brown, not the Lucy group. Um, he wrote it when he was in high school, and he based it on a song that his grandmother taught him, which was a gospel song. And later, in his early 20s, Charles was singing with a group called the Ray Moore, uh, the Johnny Moore Band, and they were kind of a smooth Chicago-style blues group. And Charles was over in the corner playing this song and singing it on the piano, and they asked him to record it, and he told them no, that that was a bad idea, because in his mind, again, blues musicians not reputable, blues music not reputable, had taken a song that he learned from his grandmother that was gospel and putting it to secular music just really bothered him. <laughs> 
But they finally convinced him they recorded it, and it's actually one of the songs that are today in the Blues Hall of Fame. It's called Drifting Blues. Uh, it was originally recorded as the song uh, I've Been Out Walking. 
And uh, as a high school student, he sold the song, uh, mostly to European singers who put it in his filler albums. The young man's name was Jackson Brown. Uh, he recorded the uh, first album with Saturate before using it. He put this one on his second album. Um, it's called For Every Man. This is called These Days. Now. These days I seem to think a lot about the things I forgot to do for oh, you. Yeah. And all the times I had a chance to, solos. 
mine's nothing like either one of them. <laughs> what I like about blues is you can just do almost anything and it works. So this is called the Come Into My Kitchen. You better come to my kitchen. 